Welcome back, Word Lovers, it's Thomas Tomwitz. Today is a very special day. It's always a special day here at Thomas Tomwitz. Today we have got a, a very nice care package from our friends at Madeiras Barber in Spain. This was sent to us by Lucas. Uh, thank you so much for sending us this, Lucas. Uh, I'm very excited to share the contents of this box with you guys. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the four species of wood that Lucas has sent us. We're gonna be going over some of the specs, why you might wanna use them in your guitars. We're gonna give them a blast with the magic spray, uh, or at least we're gonna give them a, a dribble with the magic bottle. <laughs> and if you stick around till the end of the video, that's right, algorithmic hook, there you are. Um, you can find out how to win what? the contents of this box. That's right, we're gonna give these sets away because we're just you know we're so generous here at Tom Sands Guitars and uh, we want to we want to spread the love so let's crack into this box and find out what we've got right so they're all pretty dense they're all pretty heavy we've got some sides in here as well I promise it's not just it's not just backs um, but uh, the, the sides are all very nicely matched to the backs, so we'll just focus on the backs because it's heavy and I'm a, I'm a weak English man. All right, so first and foremost, and uh, the kind of main reason that um, Lucas at Madeiras Barber got in touch with me was because they wanted to showcase um, some Paduke, but not just any old Paduke, no. This is uh, what they are calling Paduke Bariol. That's right. Terracorpus soyoxii, or something like that. This is um, from Central and West Africa. And uh, I believe these, these sets in particular came from the Congo. And uh, they, as you can see, they're really very dramatic, really very striking. They have these blonde streaks in them, which um, apparently is, is quite rare. Uh, you don't find it uh, all the time when you when you cut paduke. I thought it was sapwood, but the way that it kind of sits within the grain, it, it doesn't appear to make sense that it's sapwood. Um, but whatever it is, it is absolutely gorgeous. Go check out Blind Guitars. I know Virgil has built, built a bunch with uh, paduke burial. We're gonna dig into paduke and its various forms in a separate video, but I just wanna give you an overview of everything that we've been sent by uh, Madeiras Barber. Um, 745 kilograms per cubic meter in density, so a little bit less dense than something like a rosewood. I really love Padouk. I've built with it, um, albeit not the, the Barriol, I've built with your kind of more standard um, Padouk. I really, really like it. It was something that we uh, used to work with a lot uh, in the Samoji shop. It has a great kind of tap tone. We'll listen to it in a second. We're gonna dive into the rest of the, uh, the sets and then we'll come back to it. But yeah, really, really lovely, amazing color. Like Paduk marble cake. And who doesn't like cake? Especially marble cake. <laughs> All right, next up is, um, is a tone wood that has been requested probably more than any other uh, on Tommy's tone woods. This is, that's right, you guessed it, Purple Heart. And uh, this set is really pretty. It's got some subtle, subtle beeswing figure. And uh, the uh, scientific name is uh, Peltigines, checks notes, Poobelsens. Peltigine Poobelsens. Uh, it's not one that kind of rolls off the tongue, but apparently that's, that's what it is. Um, Purple Heart comes from Central and South America, which is new to me because I always wrongly assumed that it was from Africa. I thought it was a, uh, an African hardwood, but it's not. It's from Central and South America. You're already getting a sense of what this wood sounds like. Um, it tips the scales at around about 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, so something uh, dense like Cocobolo. Um, if you built with Purple Heart, let me know because you don't see very many Purple Heart guitars. I don't think anyone's, I don't think too many people are ballsy enough to build with Purple Heart because it's so, so striking. It's just that color is so intense. This one, when I opened the box, I wasn't sure what it was. It kind of looks like walnut, it kind of looks like koa, um, but this is monkey pod. 
We got the book match right? Yes, we have. This is Monkey Pod. And uh, again, this is a uh, South American hardwood, Alabatsia Saman. Very, very similar to Koa. The grain structure, it really does look like a pale Koa or a Tasmanian blackwood, very much like an acacia. Um, and and it's, it's very, very pretty. I think uh, uh, Karen at Bigfoot Guitars is built with that. Um, so go check that one out. And finally, an extremely dense, uh, very, very hard timber. This is one we have actually featured on the channel before, but the set that we showed was slightly different. This one is Parosa. This is, uh, originally it was classified as a Swartzia, which is the same family as something like Cataloge, um, but was re-specified or reclassified uh, as Bobgunia madagascariensis. <sighs> and I believe that this set comes from Mozambique, super, super dense, very, very hard. Go check out uh, McPherson Guitars. Um, I know that they build with it a lot, but I first came across it uh, through the work of Tom Dahlia, AKA Freddie Mercury, go check him out. All right, let's give these a quick tap. Starting off with the uh, Paduk Barioli. This is so pretty. There's even a little bit of crinkly kind of quilting or flame in there. But let's, let's give it a little tap and a little listen. Very pleasing. Oh yeah. Love that. Very, very rosewoody, but slightly less dense. Similarly. Now these, these sets are very similar in size, but have a very subtly different sound. Very resonant. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. Moving on to the Purple Heart. Woo! Kind of more in the, I would say some, like leaning towards something like an ebony, um, but does have some kind of rosewoody kind of characteristics to it. This is the Monkey Pod. Huge amount going on just from the tap response, but it has a, a, a feel, a look, a uh, hardness similar to your mahoganies, your coas, your walnuts. So I expect sonically we'd be in that kind of territory. I really like that. You know, sometimes it's not all about the kind of vibrant figure and, and, and bright colors. It's just there's something like this has just got a really nice look and feel to it. It's subtle, it's understated. I like that a lot. And moving on to the, finally, the, the big boy. Oh God, this is the, the Power Rosa. I don't know if I can even grip it. This is like a piece of steel. Super dense. Ooh. Wow. Very cool. Right, let's uh, try not to set the workshop on fire and uh, give this a blast, give them all a blast with the magic, magic juice. Um, I'm gonna save this one to last because I imagine that this is gonna be the most striking visually. So we'll go with the monkey pod. Make sure you guys can all see this. I want to see it too. Oh, look at that. Look at that really kind of subtle, 
flame. It's really popped to the colour. That is super nice. Come on. New camera lens, pick that up. Yeah, look at that. It's kind of got like a, almost like a Cuban mahogany look to it. But just some more kind of yellow ochre colour. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful golden hue. Very nice. Like that. A lot. All right. Now this one, I expect I'm going to need to put some sunglasses on or something. This is very, very vibrant. And again, you just kind of looking, looking under the studio lights, this is, you can see the medullary figure. This is perfectly quarter sawn. Really nice. Something that, you know, in a picture, you're not really going to appreciate. But if this is your guitar and you're sitting at home playing it, you're really going to appreciate the, uh, the subtle, subtlety of the structure of this timber. And look at that colour. Wow. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow. Man. It's like a kind of violet. Just beautiful, just beautiful stuff. So there you go, your Purple Heart. For all those Purple Heart fans who've been asking me for years at this point to share with you some, uh, some Purple Heart. This is Pau Rosa, which means rosewood in Portuguese. I'm a linguist as well as a Turnwood fanatic, not really. Again, really lovely, understated, beautiful quarter sawn material, great colour, really rich. Very similar actually to Paduk, but not quite as uh, not quite as red. But when Paduk ages a little bit, matures over time, it kind of goes this kind of brownie colour. So. Yeah, very similar to the Paduk in a lot of ways. And then finally, let's move on to the special stuff. The Paduk Barioli from Madras Barber. You know what? Oh, look at that. Wow. Very, very vibrant. Beautiful, you can see that it's picked out the kind of, again, it's like a bee's wing, subtle figure. Beautiful. I really love the grain. Oh, wow. The kind of structure of Paduk. That is just, Gorgeous. I wonder if I flip it this way, you'll see the flame a little bit more. Beautiful. So, if you would like to win some of this tone wood, I'm going to do I'm going to do four giveaways. Okay. So we've got the purple heart, we've got the monkey pod, we've got the paduk, and we've got the parosa. Let me know in the comments which species you would like and what you would build with it. And you know what? If you want all of the woods. Enter four times. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, the most interesting, um, compelling entries uh, will, will be the winners. Uh, this is only going to be open to uh, uh, people in the UK. Um, but let me know what you would like. Look at that. It's kind of got like a little owl in the top there. Beautiful. So thanks again to uh, Madaris Barber for sending these. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you for a little bit more of an in-depth look at Paduk in the next episode.